Hi, I'm Mark Tedimer, Mayor of the City of Lake Forest. Welcome to the State of the City Meet the Mayor for 2024. Thank you for watching. Tonight's event is billed as the Meet the Mayor State of the City. I'm hoping by the end of tonight's event, I will have shown you how these two things intersect. As far as meeting the mayor, here's a little bit about my public life. My family and I moved to Lake Forest in 1995. My first engagement with the city was in 2001 when I volunteered to be on the city's 10th anniversary committee. In 2002, I was appointed to the city's planning commission where I served for two years. I was first elected to city council in 2004 and served until 2012. I chose to leave city council to pursue a master's degree. In 2018, I successfully ran for city council and was re-elected in 2022. I was a mayor in 2008, 2009, 2019, and now 2024. I'm serving what I know to be my last term on city council. I'm serving what I believe to be my last term as mayor. And when all is said and done, I will have served on the city council for 16 years and served as mayor four times. I cannot believe how lucky I've been to serve this community in this capacity. I've had a front row seat and a small hand in many wonderful developments in the city's rich history, which spans almost 33 years. Tonight's event, knowing it's my last as mayor, had me reflect on some of the events in the city's relatively short history. The city's motto is remember the past, challenge the future. Tonight, we're gonna to take some time to remember the past, taking this opportunity to reflect on, and I hope appreciate, some of the milestones in the city's history. Several years ago, the city began producing a video shown at this event to help provide information about the city. Some of you may remember this moment from our video when I was a mayor in 2019. I like this video format because it allows us to post the video on a public platform to share tonight's message with the residents and businesses of Lake Forest and beyond. It can also help promote the city. We've accomplished a lot since 1991. Let's take a look. Hey, Mayor. Hey, Hope, how you doing? Good, how are you? Excellent, thank you. I found another box of photos. Oh, great, well, yeah. thank you so much. Anytime. Yeah, how about this one? That's cool, what's that from? Uh, this is the original city council, this picture from about 1992. And a lot of these pictures are before I was really involved with the city. Okay. But I think I know just the person to call. So if you give me a minute, I'm gonna make a phone call. Okay, good luck tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Hey Helen, it's Mark. Yeah, I'm here at City Hall. I'm looking at some pictures and I need your help on some of them. Would you mind stopping by? Great, I'll see you in a few minutes. Thanks. Hi Helen, how hey, are you? Hi Mark, good thanks for your phone call. Oh, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Oh, it was so good to hear from you. What's yeah. up, you're doing the breakfast? Or the, oh, the state of the city. State of the city. State of the okay. city. Okay. And I was thinking about maybe trying to reflect on some of the city's history oh, okay. and staff had all these wonderful pictures. Okay. And I thought, who better than you with the city's history to know, <laughs> like here's a good one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, this was um, the photo of the first city council at the first birthday. So this would have been taken in 1992, I believe. Mm -hmm. Great oh. photo, oh my gosh. Yep, so many great photos here. So oh I'm trying to prepare for the state oh. of the city uh -huh. and I'm trying to find some way to capture all this and was trying to think, how can I, how do I capture the history of the city? Do you have any ideas? Well, gosh, you know, the city is only eight miles tip to tip. Um, not very large in the overall scheme. Okay, it, it gives me an idea. I think I know okay. what to do. But I gotta go, because I got the state of the city, so I got some <laughs> things to do. But thank you so much for your time. Sure, we good will luck be in tonight. Great, good thank luck you. tonight. Yep, we'll be in Don't touch. Don't forget your jacket. Thanks. <laughs> and I'm gonna stay and look at some photos. Hi, I'm Mark Tedimer, Mayor of the City of Lake Forest for 2024. I'm taking this opportunity to reflect on some of the city's history and accomplishments since the city was incorporated in 1991. Hey Garrett, remember when you asked me to hike Mount Whitney? Well, I've got a new proposition. Meet me down at Cavanaugh Park and don't bring a jacket. I've got you covered. Okay, bye.
Looks like it's going to be a great day for a hike. It's going to be about 18 miles. Think we can make it? Absolutely. You can thank me for getting you to hike that mountain. I was preparing you just for this. I appreciate that. <laughs> There's a reason we're starting down near the 5 Freeway. Why is that? The area we now know as Lake Forest was once referred to as El Toro and was under the purview of the County of Orange. The residents of El Toro decided to pursue cityhood. December 1991, the city was officially incorporated, becoming the county's 31st city. At one point, this portion of El Toro Road was considered the hub of activity in South Orange County, but as the region grew, traffic became a concern. In addition to the traffic, much of this area was dominated by older retail centers and businesses. So a lot has changed? Yes, thanks to the city's proactive efforts to address the traffic congestion and revitalize the look of the area starting in 2006. The city even named the area the Arbors to evoke a sense of place and pay homage to the city's agricultural heritage. The city's commitment to improvement continued as the Arbor Revisions Project launched in 2020. Through surveys and community engagement, the city developed a project to enhance this area's functionality and appearance. Completed in October 2023, with the many businesses in this part of the city, it's important not to overlook our housing initiatives. Recent development projects in the city provided funds to help an outside entity develop affordable housing in the city. Several years ago, the city, through a competitive process, selected National Community Renaissance to develop such a project. I'm proud to say that on March 2nd, National Community Renaissance officially opened its Mountain View Affordable Housing Project. The facility offers wraparound supportive services on site, including assistance for those who have experienced homelessness. Our last stop before leaving El Toro Road is Orange County Fire Authority Station 19. Staffed by dedicated firefighters and emergency medical personnel, it ensures swift response times to protect lives and properties. I'm proud to represent the city on the Orange County Fire Authority Board of Directors. Another great thing about Lake Forest, beyond its natural amenities, is its connection to great parks like Heritage Hill Historical Park. It stands as Orange County's first historical park and offers visitors a glimpse into our region's rich past. The park also hosts special events, educational programs, and community gatherings throughout the year. This is a pretty neat bridge with great views of the Saddleback Mountains. Agreed. This bridge, which spans Alton Parkway, helps join two parts of Baker Ranch. Since incorporation of the city in 1991, Alton Parkway existed in Foothill Ranch and in Irvine. The city, in collaboration with private landowners and many other stakeholders, developed a project to join these two segments of Alton Parkway, bridging a 2.1 mile gap between Foothill Ranch and Portola Parkway to Irvine and beyond. We've come a long way. Want to make this 18 miler 17 miles longer? I think 18 miles is enough. Well, if you change your mind, Whiting Ranch contains 23 trails totaling about 17 miles of roads and trails providing great opportunities for hikers, mountain bikers, and equestrians. The park also provides connections to several other trails belonging to the OC Park's regional trail system. Shifting gears from the city's roads and bridges, Lake Forest is proud to be home to businesses like Kawasaki and Oakley. The city has a long history of being home to many businesses and underscores our commitment to fostering a thriving business environment and providing ample opportunities for growth and success. From global enterprises to local businesses, Lake Forest supports its diverse array of employers and recognizes the invaluable contributions they make to our economy and community. Another important institution in the city is Saddleback Church and its 120-acre campus located near Portola Parkway and the 241 Toll Road. The Saddleback Church campus is huge. It is, but our sports park comes close. It's 86 acres and one of the largest sports parks in Orange County. Overall, Lake Forest Sports Park serves as an epicenter for recreational and social activities, promoting health, wellness, and community engagement in the city. The Orange County Sheriff's Department office in Lake Forest serves as a vital center for law enforcement and community engagement in the region, ensuring public safety, upholding the law, and fostering positive relationships between law enforcement and residents. While Orange County Sheriff's Department contributes to the safety of our community, spaces like the skate park contribute to its vibrancy and diversity. The history behind the Etney Skate Park of Lake Forest traces back to the early 2000s when discussions began about the need for a premier skateboarding facility in the area. In 2003, the City of Lake Forest and Etney's 
forged a groundbreaking public-private partnership to bring Etney's skate park to fruition. Construction of Etney's skate park began with both the city and Etney's working closely together to ensure that the park met the highest standards of quality and safety. The City of Lake Forest hosted a celebration for the park's 20th anniversary in December 2023. Isn't the Serrano Creek Trail beautiful? It is. It's amazing how these trails with the city give you beautiful views of some of the natural beauty and wildlife corridors. Looks like our next stop will be the Lake Forest Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber has been a dedicated partner of 13 years to the city. Our local Chamber serves as a unified voice for the business community and supports local businesses and entrepreneurs through programs, services, and advocacy efforts. And that's 18 miles. We did it. Who knew you could see and learn so much on just one walk through Lake Forest? Thanks for letting me be part of your trek across the city. Anytime. I gotta run now. The state of the city is coming up in just a bit. Eh, no running for me, or walking for a while. Good luck tonight. Wow, what a journey. More than six hours, about 37,000 steps, and we covered almost 18 miles. I've got a great appreciation for how far we've come and how much we've done. And while we've completed a lot of big projects, there are still important things that remain. There's still more to know about the city in terms of where we are now and what's up ahead. And I know just the person to talk with. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Mayor. Are you ready for tonight? Almost. I just finished my walk of the whole city. Walking our timeline today has deepened my appreciation for our history of achievements. It's amazing how each accomplishment builds upon the last, laying the groundwork for further growth and advancement. That's true. The Civic Center campus is proof of that. For instance, the successful development of the Etney Skate Park demonstrated the city's ability to collaborate with private entities and undertake large-scale projects. In addition, the sports park showed the city's recognition of the importance of community spaces and amenity. This proved projects like the Civic Center could be successful. We completed the Civic Center in 2019, a significant milestone in the city's history, representing more than 20 years of planning, development, and community collaboration. As many city services moved online, we recognized the need for spaces where the community could gather and engage in civic life. Extensive community input guided the development of the Civic Center, ensuring alignment with the Lake Forest's character and priorities. The architecture reflects the agricultural roots of the community, and many spaces were designed to offer maximum flexibility. Collaborative efforts resulted in a modern and sustainable complex. Primarily funded by development fees, the Civic Center did not impact the city's debt-free status. Since its completion, the campus is often busy and full of life. It really seems to be serving its purpose as a vibrant hub for civic engagement and community life. Well, with the council chambers that also act as a state-of-the-art performing arts center, public service counters for residents to access a wide range of government services, a senior clubhouse, and a community center with several community rooms for events and gatherings, there's a lot residents can do here. I believe the city is well positioned now and for the future. Thanks, Deborah. I better get going. I walked 18 miles to get here. It would be a shame if a few more steps made me late. I hope you agree with me. We've accomplished a lot since 1991. One of the most important events in the city's history didn't even happen in the city. In 1993, when the city was just two years old, the federal government decided to close El Toro Marine Corps Air Station. The air station, which is located in the city of Irvine, officially closed in 1999. That decision to close the air station directly led to a series of events culminating in the funding and construction of the sports park, the new Civic Center, many roadway improvement projects, including the Alton Parkway Gap Closure Project, and the newly opened Mountain View Apartments, a 71-unit affordable housing project. All told, about $200 million worth of community improvements can trace their roots back to the El Toro Marine Corps Air Station closure in 1999. What are my thoughts on the state of the city? 
the state of the city is excellent. We are financially strong with balanced budgets and fully funded reserves. The city's financial stability has always been a top priority for me and will continue to be so going forward. I've come to appreciate that with financial resources, we get to decide what we can do. But without financial resources, we get to decide what we can't do. I believe my city council colleagues share this view. We are fortunate to have completed many improvements, some of which were highlighted in the video which not only add value to the community, but contribute to a sense of community, help with mobility, and demonstrates meaningful progress, all done without raising taxes. With the closure of the El Toro Marine Corps Air Station and the subsequent development in Lake Forest, the city demonstrated its ability to balance the desire for more housing with a desire for much needed public improvements that we can all enjoy and that add value to the community. In terms of public safety, we have strong partnerships with the Orange County Sheriff's Department and the Orange County Fire Authority, which serve the needs of our community quite well. The city prioritizes regular improvements to our community as expressed through our capital budget, which keeps our Public Works Department busy. On average, the city spends millions of dollars every year on improvement projects such as park renovations, street resurfacing, and traffic improvements. Earlier, I mentioned the Mountain View apartment project. At our first meeting in March of 2024, the council selected National Corps to explore the possibility of another affordable housing project in the city. I believe we've done a good job of delivering projects, offering programs, and delivering services for the residents and businesses in the city making Lake Forest a desirable place to call home, operate a business, recreate, or shop and dine. But it's not just what I think. We actually ask our customers that call Lake Forest home, how are we doing? This is done through a survey of residents and businesses, which we've done every two years for the past 18 years. The results not only gives us insights into the community and what it's thinking, but it also provides input as the city updates its strategic plan, develops its operating and capital budget, and other key programs. In the latest survey, done in 2023, 88% of the residents said that the quality of life was good or excellent. When businesses were asked what the city could do to improve the business climate, most said they could not think of anything. And while we are proud of those results, we won't rest on them. The city council and staff consider public input including survey results, as we seek to continually improve Lake Forest and raise the bar even higher. One thing I hope you take away from tonight's event is an appreciation for how far we've come and how much we've done. In summary, I believe the state of the city is excellent. I stand on the shoulders of my predecessors who laid the foundation for a well-run city. I honor their efforts by building on their success as we work to meet the needs of our residents and businesses. Thank you to the city staff, Deborah, Jonathan, Hope, Adrian, Nick, and Max for being a part of this journey. And thank you to Steve and Mary and the rest of the Chamber of Commerce for your support. And thank you to the residents and businesses in the city of Lake Forest. I believe we've got a good thing going and I know good things are to come. And a special thank you to Helen Wilson, the city's inaugural mayor, for being as part of the video. She's a big part of the city's history, and I'm proud to call her friend. I'd like to close by thanking my wife, Brenda, daughter, Kylie, and son, Garrett, for your support for so many years. One last thing. Several years ago, my son, Garrett, approached me and asked if I would be interested in hiking to the top of Mount Whitney with a group of his friends. For those that may not know, Mount Whitney is the tallest mountain in the contiguous 48 states, topping out at about 14,500 feet. I agreed to train with them to see how I would respond. I'm happy to say that we were able to complete that climb to the top of Mount Whitney a couple of years ago. We certainly had our challenges, but we supported each other through adversity and achieved our goal. This trekking event across much of the city was made possible because my son invited me to try something I didn't know I would do or could do. That is why I asked him to join me as we trekked across the city 
on our more than 17 mile journey. Garrett, thank you for inviting me on your Mount Whitney journey. I could not have done it without you, and without you, I could not have done it. I hope this video motivates people to explore some of the trails in and around us. You can get started right here in Lake Forest, which has some wonderful trails to walk, run, bike, hike, and trek. I'll see you out there. Thank you.